making time to watch TV 47 News Weekend this Friday night, the 11th December 2020. This is the home of Untold Stories. My name is Maria Mocharo. We have a lot lined up for you on tonight's bulletin and let's begin with some of those stories. Because Senator Boniface Mutinda Kabaka is dead. Kabaka died earlier this morning at Nairobi Hospital, where he was hospitalized last week after complaining of mild headaches. Former Minister Joe Nyaga has also died from COVID-19. Musa Sala has the details. Distant wailing and crying. This was the situation on Friday morning at the Liu Funeral Home in Nairobi with friends and family of the late Machako Senator Boniface Mutinda Kabaka in shock and disbelief. According to his close allies, Senator Kabaka took his last breath this morning at Nairobi Hospital where he had undergone a surgery to remove a blood clot in his head. Last night and today at 8.45 a.m., the doctor certified that we have lost our colleague. Because Senator Kabaka had to undergo an operation by one of the very strong neurosurgeons, Professor Musao, to remove a clot. It's normally never an easy thing. Kabaka was rushed to hospital last week after complaining of a mild headache, which will later be discovered was caused by a blood clot with his close friends whom he confided in, confirming that Kabaka had contracted and recovered from COVID-19 a few days before his condition was discovered. He came back to the same hospital and um, they, they, they tested him for, for COVID, uh, to which he tested uh, positive, but put and a medication, there was no need for uh, hospitalization, and he recovered and was given a clean bill of health. Several leaders have mourned the late Senator Kabaka. Senate Speaker Ken Lusaka remembered him as a firm outspoken debater who stood by his word in the upper house. He was a very friendly senator to every senator who is here the 68 of us in Senate are very articulate, very humorous, and very firm debater. Kabaka would take a stand, and it did not matter whom he's pleasing or he's not pleasing. He didn't care whether you, he didn't care whether you liked what he, the stand he took or not. Senator Kabaka was a very lively man, a man who spoke his mind, a man with a sharp brain, a man who worked hard all his life, and a man who was really one you could count upon when he was on your side. President Uhuru Kenyatta also remembered Kabaka as a dedicated legislator who used his skills as a lawyer to enrich legislative processes in the Senate. Former Vice President and Wipa Party leader Kalonzo Musioka also eulogized Kabaka as a great orator and debater. Ameonyesho kakamavu mkubwa sana. Kakamavu kwa panda kwa and before the nation recovered from Kabaka's sudden death, former presidential candidate Joe Nyaga succumbed to COVID-19. The 72-year-old who once served as a Gashoka member of parliament on a NAC party ticket died at a Nairobi hospital where he was being treated for COVID-19. President Kenyatta eulogized the late Joe Nyaga as a great person and a friendly leader, highly experienced in public service and a very influential politician. Musa Salah, TV47. Elsewhere.